Vinny talk, wrestling talk, man. Let's get into this podcast. It's your boy Vinny D, the young wolf. Welcome all my wrestling fans, my wrestling heads, my Swifty heads, my Taylor Swift fan, everybody, man. True crime people, everybody that watches my podcast. Today we're talking Mania season, man. WrestleMania and the impact of all my favorite wrestlers. Um, what a long way that Drew McIntyre's coming his way back. Um, you know, obviously he won the Elimination Chamber. Seth Rollins getting ready to do battle at WrestleMania with Drew McIntyre. And, and there's a lot of people out there that are like, how do we feel about Drew and, and, and Seth going back at it? And now we have the bloodline, Roman Reigns, The Rock, and, you know, just the drama between Cody Rhodes. And what a, what a long way Cody Rhodes has came from Stardust. And, and, and honestly, um, by the way, you guys see that I have my championship here. Um, that I actually painted this part right here. And I painted this part. So it's pretty cool. I customize it. I bought it and then I recustomized it myself. The the title, but um, I just wanted to say, man, Cody Rose, man, I'm just really happy for him and he's gonna finish his story. We we want him to finish his story and uh, SmackDown's coming up in a couple days. The Rock's supposed to be on for the next like three or four four nights, so we will have the review for um for SmackDown after SmackDown, um, the night after. Uh, we'll be doing a review of that, so stay tuned for that. But it's Mania season, man. It's WrestleMania season, and uh, you know we're gonna have Becky Lynch and Rhea Ripley. And what better way to 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 go into Mania with with Becky Lynch versus Rhea Ripley? Now, I'm not sure where they're gonna go with the story. Whether they're gonna whether they're gonna just uh, give the title and just retain it back to um, Rhea, and she's not gonna you know obviously she's not gonna lose, but I mean, who who knows, man? The storyline could change, right? Because um, there's just so much going on in wrestling now, and the fact that you know Triple H, you know Paul's been 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 at the top and and leading the company right now. I just feel like it's in an, it's in another it's in another direction, and and I actually started watching wrestling again. I stopped watching it for a little while, and I'm just like I'm very in tune with it now, and I'm I'm happy what they're doing, especially women's wrestling. And, you know, women's wrestling has came a long way so much from where women's wrestling used to be. Um, I'm very proud of what they've done with women's wrestling. And, you know, some of the women wrestlers, you know, like Liv Morgan, how far she has came. You know, obviously watching back and, you know, back in my day when I used to watch wrestling, like the Attitude Era with China and Tori Wilson and Trish Stratus and Lita. God, man, Lita was good. We missed uh, the those days when wrestling was was truly wrestling. But there's a lot of people out there that you know what I'm saying don't watch wrestling and whatnot. But I enjoy it. Um, I enjoy watching wrestling. Like I have my favorites. But this whole thing with the bloodline and Roman Reigns, and will they? Will, will the Rock actually? Um, go against Cody Rhodes and try to block him from actually winning the title. I believe that Cody's going to win it at Mania. Whether or not there's some type of tag match involved before then, or God only knows what's going to happen, man. All I know is it's very entertaining, and I'm I'm loving the the whole new storylines of what they're what they're doing with it. And there's going to be a lot of good matches. Um, I'm really going to enjoy that Cody C- Cody Rhodes versus Roman Reigns. And the fact that Cody can finish the story is going to be it's just going to be good, man. Um, you know, the whole thing with Roman Reigns and the bloodline. And I just feel like the bloodline, you know, and now the Rock's joining the bloodline. There's so much involved and so many things could happen. And now we had like, you know what I'm saying, like Paul Heyman um came out, you know what I'm saying, Monday Night Raw trying to talk Cody Cody down and all this shit and Cody just snapped off started plexing everybody man started hitting hitting the security with chairs and all that um I know that Smackdown is gonna be sick so Lord, Lord, Lord only knows to tune into Smackdown cause it's gonna be you know what I'm saying one hell of a Smackdown this Friday 
Um, WWE, acknowledge me. The fact that Cody Rose, man, Kobe's like fed up with the bloodline, bro. He's like, man, come at me, bro. Come at me. He's like, he, he wants a bloodline, dude. He's challenging the rock. So that whole situation there, that's crazy. But the future, I really believe the future of the WWE is, you know, our younger superstars like Liv Morgan, uh, Tiffany Stratton's, her the future is really bright for her. Upcoming superstar, you know, very, just very talented, man. Watching a lot of the upcoming young superstars coming over from NXT um, perform at the Elimination Chamber at Monday Night Raw, um, you know, even throughout the years, man. You know, Shotzi, um, even Chelsea, man. Um, just very talented uh, superstars that this this will be like their light in the WWE. Um, that Swanton off the top of the chamber. Wow, dude. That was that was crazy. That was amazing. Um, the things that they're doing now in wrestling is just like crazy. Um, you know, so much talent and just like Seth Rollins versus Drew McIntyre, that's going to be a crazy, crazy, crazy match. I just feel like you could just see it in the, in the distance, see it in the light. Like it's going to be insane, dude. Becky Lynch versus Rhea. It's like so much big, so much bigger than you could actually think about it. But I feel like it's not really about. Becky at this point, it's more about Rhea. It's about Rhea and what the company wants for Rhea, but a big path ahead for Rhea Ripley, if you take a look at it. Um, I feel like Becky Lynch is a great legendary wrestler, but the future of the company, you could see where it lies. Um, I mean, Becky Lynch is, is will go down as one of the best female wrestlers of her time. But I, in another light, you could tell where the company's line or where, where, where they kind of want to go with the future. And I really do believe that this will be, you know, the future aligns with, you know, Jade, an upcoming superstar from NXT and in and, and, and AEW. A lot of superstars came from from AEW or went back with AEW and then came over to WWE like Cody Rhodes did and CM Punk and the way the company has just brought in their, their spectrum. Um, it's just more, it's really entertaining the storylines, but, um, when Becky, when we look at her career, um, the future of, of the WWE, like Becky two belts. I just believe that, you know, with what that whole situation was just like, she was, um, she was very impact, impactful and and that part of her career is kind of over now but i don't know if they really want to hand over the belt back to becky which is i mean dude it was simply amazing i, I love becky two belts right we, we we love the man we still love the man what becky becky lynch is but the future the real future of this company does i feel like rely and, and lie with all these upcoming talent like tiffany you know, Tiffany Stratton, um, Shotzi, a Liv Morgan, um, you know, Bianca Belair, Bianca, she's been shining. I really do miss, uh, Sasha, man, Mercedes Monet. Um, if that is in fact her, you know, going to be better for her to be with AEW and shining over there than, you know, the boss, the legit boss, Mercedes Monet, um, and AEW will be great, right? Will be great. But I just, I just, I just wish you would come back to the WWE because uh, the boss is it's really a mess, man. Um, but like I said, man, a lot of upcoming stars and the future of the WWE lies within the superstars that I just named. You know, Shotzi, Liv Morgan. Uh, it's Tiffy time. Tiffany Stratton. We'll be doing more podcasts about that and 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 that story. What is WrestleMania season, guys? It's Mania season. We can't wait to get into all the podcasts coming up um not just wrestling but all my other cool videos and whatnot but yeah man it's it's really interesting to think about where uh wrestling was and what now has it became over the years um 
and the fact that Cody won back-to-back Royal Rumbles and he couldn't get it done the first year but will he get it done and finish his story this year the American Nightmare you know and his father the American Dream what that what that stand for what that stood for you know in the test of time um got the title man it's your boy Vinny D the Young Wolf we want to thank you guys you know just for following me subscribing and, and all that man you know um wrestling's always been a big passion of mine uh, always always loved uh, watching it and, and just wearing my belt some when i'm riding outside and, and and riding my motorcycle and whatnot just you know don't never let no one tell you what to do man just always be yourself work hard strive for for the best it's your boy man uh shout out to miss tiffany stratton man we got an upcoming superstar in her as well and um we want um just to recognize that you know watching her at the chamber man at the elimination chamber and the amount of because we you know we've already know that tiffany stratton has came a long way but man bro she's like she's she's just like on another level when it comes to like showing who she is as a superstar and upcoming and i believe that she's gonna be the champ soon i just she gotta keep proving herself and whatnot you know what i'm saying like the fact that she's you know had that performance and the performance that she had um just shows you that she has so much gratitude so much more um ambition to become more in tune with herself but just a better uh wrestler and and i really do believe they're gonna push for her to be um in the upcoming days in the upcoming years to be a, a real big superstar in the company of wwe so, so it's tiffany time you know what i'm saying it's tiffy time and you know um Tiffany Strand. Hopefully, she's got a place at WrestleMania. Hopefully, they sign a match for her because I I can't wait, man. I, I want to see her involved in another match. And uh, prayers, you know. Hopefully, Shotzi gets better because she got injured. So hope, we hope Shotzi. She's another upcoming superstar, you know. Shotzi and and in a breakthrough performance from from Liv Morgan. You know, she's came a long way with her career as well. There's a lot of upcoming uh wrestlers that you know that made their way and you know you got to start off somewhere right but uh, um these you know these superstars watching them along their journey is just it's special you know what i'm saying it's special and being a wrestling fan the wwe universe you know what i'm saying it's just uh, it's entertaining um you know hopefully randy orton's okay i know he, i think he hurt his back or something like that but i'm sure he'll be back in the spotlight so definitely man seth rollins um He's 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 gonna stick by Cody, right? He's saying that he's gonna he's gonna stick by Cody and and and, and help him out. But who 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 the hell knows what's gonna happen with that shit right there, man? I don't know. I mean, Seth Rollins, man, the heavyweight champ. Drew McIntyre wants the title, so we'll see. Uh, we'll see how that aligns. We'll see what happens. And then we have Bailey. You know what I'm saying, Bailey. Let's we'll see what happens with Bailey, right? Let's see how she does at WrestleMania. But we got SmackDown coming up Friday, so make sure you guys tune into that. And I uh, just want to hop on, talk to you guys, a little wrestling talk. It's your boy Vinny D, the Young Wolf. Like, subscribe to the channel. Like the video. You guys see me with the title, man. You guys know what time it is, man. Anyway, so I said, like, you know, with, with WrestleMania and the lose, man, it's WrestleMania season. Anything is possible to happen with storylines um who knows what the hell the rock's gonna do right the rock, hopefully this the smackdown man the rock's gonna be he's gonna say something man and there's a lot of people out there talking about the rock right the rock well we 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 we, we still like the corporate rock you know what i'm saying um a lot of chance out there though saying the rocky sucks rocky sucks but at the same time you got to respect the rock you know what i'm saying the rock's a legend you know what i'm saying so um I mean, I love The Rock. I've always loved The Rock, even throughout the years. But now that he joined the bloodline and Roman Reigns and all this stuff with Cody Rhodes and his whole thing with the journey and everything, I know it's a big storyline, but it's just it's entertaining at the same time. It's very unpredictable. So each night we watch it, we're just like, damn, bro, what's going to happen next? And that's what we miss. And that's what I feel like Triple H brought back to the company is just bringing that uncertain uncertainty-ness to to want to tune in to want to watch uh to want to watch wrestling again and 
you know, that's what got me back into really watching wrestling. So, shout out to The Rock, man. Shout out to Cody, the American Nightmare. The American Nightmare, man. And um, I really hope that he could do something at WrestleMania. I really believe that he's going to. When that music shot, when that music drops, man, he's just Cody's on another level, man. <clears throat> and, he, and, the, and, the, and the fans are just they feed right into it. Whoa, you know, same with Rollins, dude. Whoa, whoa, you know what I'm saying? So, but thank you guys for hopping on with me here on Vinny's Talk Wrestling Talk. We got more videos coming. Make sure you guys like. Subscribe to the channel. And guess what, man? We got more videos coming, so stay tuned. Until the next time, guys. Peace.